Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for a new episode with our tavern. And well, it's about we are about to start a new day, so let's refill all that we have. And probably do this one as well. Yeah, it's just a total of 60, so we refill everything. And well, we could plan an event, but I'm not sure we should yet, because I want to... Uh, get the ill first I think and we need to just expand the um, options that we have in our little tavern so let's just start a whole new day and there we go and we need to make some money as well I think so ah, oh, we got a new mission that's good so it's probably good to um, for now just make sure that we serve everyone that we do everything that we need before we get too big one of the main reasons to do that is because we have only three servers, we can we can only uh, serve so many people. And with research, we can get to unlimited waitresses. And that's really where I want to go, because then we can get more waitresses and we can make sure that we can really serve everyone. Now, of course, adding an extra seat can always be something good. Now, we could go for a better table, get a um, higher score for prestige, and that'll bring in more guests but it's also quite expensive but well, we I think we can uh, we can afford it so let's just put down that extra table let's get seats 50 or 300 each well we'll do 300 each let's get some better equipment we can see the numbers running up again 102 guests a day now so that's very good at 930 prestige let's hope they if they can all um, Eat everyone and give them enough drinks. Ooh, we have an upgrade. So this is our first meal upgrade. We have 15 out of 15 delivered. It's giving us 24 coins now to cream rolls. If we level them up, you can see we now get 39 co coins out of it. We do better, so they are better at preparing this. And, well, we need to serve another 30 now to level up again. But this is a great way to, to make sure that you get more money. Just upgrade your meals as soon as you can. And make sure that you, um, oh, what should we get him? Well, increase his speed. Ooh, let's upgrade him. He's not too happy, so we're going to raise his salary a bit so that he gets happy. Perfect. Anyone else we can upgrade? No, everyone's happy, so that's all good. Research is done. Let's start the ale research. Let's get an extra thing. We'll do these soon, but I really want to get to the unlimited waitresses first. As we can see, money is running up again. It's also nearing the end of the day. So we need to make choices whether we want to um, make the tavern a little bit larger. Maybe we should just save money for a day and, and then do a big expansion the next day, something like that. We can think about it. We can still see people coming in. That's a good thing. Not all seats are occupied. So that might be a thing. We need to attract more guests, I guess. Still serving meals, that's good. Making money out of it. Here comes the complete end of the day. Our last customers will be leaving. There we go. Alright, well, I'd say we did quite good. We made some money even though we did a big investment. And that's about it. Anything else we can do? Well, we first want this research done. But then we need special guests and if we plan a um, new event for instance like Tuesday if you plan an event you see you can get rare guests and you have to serve them something now right now we don't have these recipes so we can't start these you can see these are all red so you can't start those um, special occasions but we can do this one a regular party 20 guests will be in, they will be drinking water and lemonade and we get a reward for it if we serve them all and we're going to plan that so let's that'll be our first special event let's see how that will go for now let's just refill everything yep that's one let's refill this one let's buy some goods yes and let's start off a new day so we're going to save a little bit of money as you can see if we get to the building mode there's still enough room for expansion but we're just not going to do that straight away. We'll do that soon as we save it a bit of money. 
So let's just see what we can do this new day. People are coming in, that's very nice. Kinda wondering if this is enough guests for a day. We can see that here, by the way. Not exactly, but you have 32 seats, so if only 100 come in all day, then we can see that seat occupancy is not that high. So we might need to improve our prestige and that way get more guests to come in. It can be really busy, I can tell you that. But now it's fine though, all seats, yeah, just a few seats left. People are already starting to leave again, so I think we have a good customer turnover. Ooh, we can upgrade a meal again, the bread one. It's getting from 22 to 37, that's nice. And we get to upgrade people. She's not too happy, so let's give her a little raise. And we can upgrade this one. Let's see, speed while carrying. Yeah, that can go up, that's good. So she has a higher speed when carrying drinks. There are a lot of drinks waiting to be served, so... We'll see how that goes. We've got another menu, the fruit bowl. Getting from 19 up to 34 coins. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, we're doing very good with the food. And because we upgrade the food, you get a higher chance of getting rare people and gold people and royal people. Ooh, we got the research done. Well, I think I'm going to go with the wine first. Let's get to the wine. We want an extra drink in. And... Well, these guests, those 10 guests that we had to do common guests will get done quickly. And now we get the 20 from the event soon. So that'll work well. The event is the next day. Let's see, can we plan ahead already? Yeah, we can do another event on Friday. We'll do the same event so we get... This event has already been scheduled for some day in the next seven days. All right, so we can't plan ahead already. We can only do that later on. We can upgrade one of our people again. Perfect. Speed ball climbing stairs. Well, we don't have stairs, and I'm imagining that's going to take some time. So we'll upgrade the other ones first. Everyone's still happy, doing a good job. And this is the end of the day. So we made a good amount of money, so I think we can do a little bit of expansion again. So let's get to it. And we should probably just get to the, um, to the maximum of it. Not sure if we should, um... No, that's not how I want it. Let's get rid of this and this and this. Alright, so this is the biggest that we can get. Now we need to do some floor texture. We got the wooden one. I don't know. I don't believe it costs us anything. So let's just... Fill out the floor right here. And perhaps can really make a nice kitchen area like this. Then we should be able to uh, remove this walling. Yes. Alright, so this gives us quite a big place, actually. We still have money, so we can put in a few extra chairs. Alright, let's move some of the... Uh, oh, let's refill first. Let's just move some of the furniture. So let's go. Let's move this back a bit. We'll leave some room behind it. I think that's nice. But yeah, we'll move it back a bit. Let's get this right here. Right. Let's get one of these. We can still hire an extra cook. I think what we can do is get an extra one of these crates. So that we can get two meals prepared at a single time. We can't do anything of the other ones, but that's okay. So this works. Now, let's check. Ooh, that's the wrong button. Because the lighting on the walls will give lighting to a lot of places. So if we move this one, I'd say somewhere here, we also light up this whole area. Now, of course, this lighting on the walls also gives us the prestige points that we want. So I'm still going to add a few. Oh, that's good. It works like this. Doubt we'll have money for um, anything else then, for more furniture. But at least we got what we want. And as soon as we have the money, we can add extra, p extra seating and that'll bring us extra money. So now we've got quite a big tavern. 
and a lot of expansion options and we got a little money left let's totally refill this as well so that we can um, refill stuff and do what we want so this looks very nice buy any ingredient 50 times we did that so we got new points perfect let's start a whole new day here we go we immediately got a new mission for it so that's nice all right we have the special event day now People will come in, do the special event. All the guests for this event have been there. You've served a 200 reward. Perfect. Now, if you go to the menu, there's a special event menu. We don't have any of these uh, recipes yet, but as soon as you get, you get them, you can serve these while on special events. And you do need them eventually to plan a special event. So if you look at this, you can see you need a cheese recipe or a strawberry cake recipe, and th they will serve that and they will eat that. They will also eat different kinds of other food, but those are the special ones that you can get. So that's really nice. And right now, we just need to feed all these 20 people and give them drinks, make money with it, and then hopefully, soon, we will be able to expand with more tables, etc. And next up, of course, should be getting the... um this research done so we need to do this event that we're doing right now two more times and then we get unlimited waitresses which would be great and of course if we unlock wine after this one there's also an extra way of earning money through drinks now they're only drinking water and lemonade now so you need to keep an eye on them because that can run out you can run out pretty quickly and we don't want that so right now that's a thing to look at we can see that they're not ordering any food so we won't be making money with that but our waitresses are very capable of dealing with all these people let's go check we can upgrade this guy we can speed up the drink pouring i think that's good this one needs a little race to stay happy perfect everybody's happy everyone's doing great research is done so what should be next? Well, I think I want um, two days without an event and we'll get a lot of people in. So we'll do this research so we get even more guests a day. Here's the end of the day. Everything is done. We earned money and everything was fine. So let's get a wine barrel. Let's refill everything and let's start earning money with wine. Well, food's still completely full, so we can... Ooh, not completely. Let's refill this as well. And here we go, another day. We don't have that much money, so we really need to earn some money and expand the place with tables. But for now, it's okay. We get 120 guests a day now. Which is good. That might just be that little bit of extra people that comes in to have all the seats uh, filled all the time. Now, of course, we have to count for the extra travel time our people need to make because we move this a little bit backwards. So we'll have to keep an eye out to see if they don't get into trouble and run late and we get angry guests. I don't think we will get them, but it's okay. All right, let's plan a new event. Do this one again so we get the extra people in that we need for the event. I think we can get very far with the uh, 100 people that we need. So we can soon start with that one. And, ooh, our cook has an upgrade. Let's give him a better skill for soup right now. That's a good thing. We want them to be very skilled so they can prepare it quickly. And, well, everybody seems to be happy in our little tavern. It's funny that we don't have a roof, but it's cool. So everyone is enjoying their stay, it appears. They're having fun, ordering drinks. We make money. Very nice. How are we doing at the bar? Very good. They're really selling the wine as well. They're serving different types of food. Someone gets upgraded. Perfect. Oh, let's give her extra tips. That's fine. That'll keep them happy. And it's starting to get night again, and we're really making money, so it's time to add some furniture, I guess. We can do that straight away already, by the way, so let's just add a strong table. 
I'll have to keep an eye out on this with the seating as well, so that there's room to move. So that's why I start right here with the table. And then we'll add a seat on this side and a seat on that side. You can see five extra guests a day just because we added this table. So that's nice. More people can come in already. So you can either make the choice to wait until the end of the day and then add an extra table, but if you do it during the day while you have the money, you can already serve those few extra guests. Oh, nine tables, perfect. And we get a money prize for it as well. Very nice. Now for now I'm going to focus on adding the extra tables, that will give us extra money. But of course we will also at a certain point start to work towards... Ooh, very good seat occupancy by the way. We will start to work towards um, getting getting things like decoration etc. Because that will also give you higher prestige and more guests. But for now I think the most important thing is getting the extra seats going. Now let's make sure that we have enough drinks. And let's start a new day. Food will be fine. We can do that even during the day, so let's not worry about it. Now the day already started, so that's a good thing. Got a new mission, buy a new barrel of ale. Well, we don't have any ale yet. This one is oh, getting near completion, so that's good. Before we start the event, we will have to start a new mission, though. Otherwise, we'll miss on, out on guests. But I think it'll be fine. We only have 400 now, so we can't really place a new table and ceiling. Going to do that as soon as we can. We can still see that it's not completely packed, so there is still room for more people. So we'll have to make sure at a certain point that more people will come in. Let's just earn money for a day and then the next day. Let's focus on the cooks, by the way, for a while. And one of the other days we will be uh, very busy. Making sure that we get the uh, new furniture that we have. But next day, when we have the event, we only get 20 guests. So we don't need to place the furniture for that. And I think it's a good way to have a little bit of money on the bank. We can always place the new um, furniture when we want to. Alright, the cooks are doing good. Everyone's drinking. Seat occupancy is quite high, although it's not 100%. But that's okay. I really love the fact that people don't... Just claim their own table, even if they're just with two. Everyone sits with everyone. They're all having a talk with each other. I think that was one of the better things from the past, where people had more direct contact and everyone talked with everyone. Miss that sometimes. All right, we're getting to the end of the day. Research is done. That's good. So now we are going to start on this one. And when the event starts, we'll at least get 20 out of this. And we should, every day, get a few... Yeah, we already got three rare guests this day, so that's very good. Unfortunately, they're not counting in towards that right now, but... By enhancing, getting better, getting higher prestige, you get a bigger chance of getting rare people in. And that's very good, of course. Speed when not carrying, speed when carrying. You need to carry more stuff. Faster. Alright, we made a good amount of money. Let's refill everything and then get open for the uh, special event. That's a very good thing. Alright, let's zoom out a bit. That makes this easier. Let's restock. That's pretty cheap, luckily. Alright, we get 139 guests nowadays, so that's good. Let's start. Now we get the event. Well, we have room for all 20, so nothing to worry about there. We do have an unhappy person, so... Let's make him happy again. Yes, it costs you money, but it's it's fine. You can deal with that. You can keep everyone happy. And the higher level they get, the happier they will be. So don't worry about it later on. You don't have to raise their money all the time. They'll just stay happy. Right, we have 20 guests in now. We'll have to wait until the day ends. They're just having fun drinking. We'll get some money for it. Just need to keep an eye on water and lemonade because we don't want to run out because then they won't buy anything, of course, and they'll be pissed. We don't want that. We want to keep them happy. But so far it looks good. We have a big tavern and we're getting the money to expand even further. So yeah, let's take the time to already start expanding again. 
Right, let's do it like this. There's the table. Let's add seating to it. And then the next day when people come in, we have extra seating again. And the higher prestige, and more people will come in. And as soon as we get this research done with the um, extra waitresses, we can already get the two waitresses from this uh, counter. And maybe later on we can get an extra kitchen. That's also one of the uh, options. I have to check. That'll, that'll probably take a little while, the extra kitchen. There it is. But then you can get an extra kitchen so you can get extra cooks and extra waitresses. So that's very nice. You can only have as many waitresses as you have slots where they can stand. So unlimited waitresses doesn't mean we can get like 20 waitresses. But right now we have a few open spots for waitresses that we can't use because we only can have three. Right. Well, the outside of our inn looks very decent and nice. That's good. Here he comes. Now, there's another reason to keep some money in the bank. And luckily it didn't happen to us so far. But it might just happen at a certain point. And that is that there will be thieves every now and then coming into your place. Trying to um, steal your stuff. And as soon as that happens, you get the option to hire a guard. And I'm kind of hoping we don't have to do that yet. But it might just happen any time now. All right, they didn't eat anything, so that's good. Let's start the new day. Here we go. Perfect. Everyone can come in. We still have money on the bank. Let's already plan the new event. Because we still need ten of those special guests to get this one done. To get the extra waitresses in. We're in 44 guests a day now. That's good. We want that number to run up. Should we get extra tables? I think so. Let's just get it in. Seething with it. Perfect. Alright, we can house a, a good amount of people now. Let's just hope they can bring around all the drinks, because there's a lot of drinks standing there already. And they're just busy with the food. So hope Yeah, there she goes. Bringing around lots of drinks. Pretty efficiently, so that's okay. Alright, this guy can be upgraded. Well, let's just increase the speed. Let's upgrade him. Let's make sure he has a higher speed carrying stuff. They don't have to he doesn't have to walk that far, but it's okay. Did we already no still ten, so we didn't get any special guests yet. Still a lot of drinks staying there. So now you see the problem with only three waitresses. The meals take a lot of time because you have to take an order, get to the kitchen, tell what the order is, and then get back with a, with an order. And when they get to the bar, you can see all the drinks standing there. So that's taking a long time. It's not all that efficient. So with extra waitresses, we can specialize a few on the kitchen and a few on just the drinks. And that can be very good. There they go. And of course, they're what? They're just walking back and forth with nothing in their hands. And that's also not what you want to see. I can't click her, so we'll have to go like this. We can tell them to do the cleaning a little bit later. That might help. Well, we made good amount of money, so... That's nice. And I think we got a few special guests. Yeah, at least we got two. So we'll have to wait for the event, and then... We can actually... Unlock those waitresses. Now what I want to try is get some enhancements going. So I want to change the uh, wall texture, just because I like it. So we'll do it something like this. I think this looks nicer than what we have at the moment. Just gives you a little bit warmer feeling, I guess. At least that's my opinion. Of course, you're free to think something else. I do, do like the flooring, so we're not going to do anything with that. Right, that's one thing we did. Now let's get a few decorations to make sure that people get more happy. Now we don't have that much money. But if we can get like a statue, that might make people more happy. 
and that gives us extra guests. And maybe a weapon stand or something like that could do the trick. There it is. All right, that's it. I'm going to leave it like this, but we got two decorations, and we're now that should bring in extra people, and that's precisely what we want. We also need to keep some money. Well, they're still cleaning, but once that's done, everything will be fine. Let's start a whole new day. It's just a normal day, so normal guests will come in, and after that we get that last event. Can't speed up anymore, so we'll have to just run it like this. Buy some vegetables for food ingredients. Then the next day should be the last day, and then we can get the extra um, waitresses. They'll bring us a lot more money. That's one of the things I can tell you. The extra waitresses will do a wonderful job. Alright, everyone's happy. We have one that's almost ready to be upgraded. Let's go check our missions, because they are important. Buy a musician's podium, buy the adventurer's table, buy a new barrel, and own four decorations. Well, we can't buy any... Oh, we can already get the ale. I totally forgot that. Let's refill. You don't have enough money. Well, we do now. So, yeah, let's sell the ale, because they'll give us extra money. Because it's pricey. Totally forgot we already unlocked that. That's good. And there's one that will help us to... Yeah, we can do the drink pricing if we get that one. Which is very good because we can just set higher pricing. It will cost you a few guests a day, but with decorations, etc. You can get a really high count of guests a day. And then you can lower that a little bit by raising the prices. And just find a balance in that so that all your seats are occupied and not a lot of people just pass by. Then you can make really good amounts of money. But I say this already looks good. We're doing fine. Just wish we could get the extra waitresses and spend some money on decorations. But if the thief comes, they usually steal a whole barrel. And then you just want to keep some money left so you can buy back the barrel. You saw that the ale already cost me 500. So we need to save a bit of money to be able to buy something like that. We don't have a guard yet, so they're going to steal something. And as soon as we have a guard and we make him strong enough, he can defend us. But that's no guarantee. Right. Nearing the end of the day. Still making good amounts of money. No special guests today. That's... Yeah, that's sorry. Own four decorations. We have two. There we go. Seat occupancy 88. Alright, let's see. I want to see what the adventurer table costs. A thousand! That's really pricey. Alright, we're not going to buy that yet. We need to refill everything. Or at least this, because the special event guys won't eat any food. But I still just want to refill it so that it's done. And here we go. Let's start a new day. Here comes the event. And let's make sure that we can get that research done. Finish any research. Well, that should happen soon. All guests have been served, so we got a little bit of money out of that. And let's just make sure we get through this day. Keep everyone happy with all the drinks that we have. Well, they drink only water and lemonade. And you can see, with three waitresses and 20 guests, easy job. They can do whatever they want. It's all fine. So, With more guests in there, we just need to be, have a little bit of extra money. And we can deal with it. And that's what we're going to try. And perhaps we have some money soon to get extra decoration again. And with the missions, we should unlock this uh, painting, which is nice. We can really use it. I want to check, though. Can we get a few cheap decorations? This is only 75. It's a nice plant. We can put it in the corner and nobody cares. We can put one in this corner as well. And then we have four decorations finishing another mission. Perfect. Alright, let's go back. Let's finish the mission. That gives us not yet this one, but soon we will, especially when we finish the research, which we should do at the end of this day. And how expensive was the Magician's Podium? Not that expensive. So we'll place a Magician's Podium right here. I think it won't be in the way there. And it's pretty cool, because you can hire a musician, and we'll play eight songs. Guests wait 
10 seconds more on this floor, so they will have a longer wait time. And you pay a price for it, but you also get extra people for it. And we got the painting now. So we're not going to hire anyone yet because, well, no people will, extra people will come in today, so we don't have to do something with it. All right, let's get this one. Let's hang it up right there. Perfect. It's completely fine. But now we'll get quite a few extra guests. And with the musicians, we can also have extra guests, so that's cool. But we first want those extra waitresses to really be able to... Uh, there we go. Perfect. Unlimited waitresses. Let's start research again. And let's hire those extra waitresses. Let's see. Five drinks, five drinks, three drinks, four drinks. Gains experience two times faster. Mood is not affected by cleaning. Gets extra tip. I don't mind the extra tip. But we'll just get the extra. And she's already level five, so that's very good. Gains experience two times faster. That's very nice. And we finished the research, that's cool. We got some money left, perfect. So let's refill it all. And there we are, perfect. Well, this research is already coming along slowly. Three extra people got in, so that's good. We can now get extra guests, but it has also been half an hour. So we're going to end this episode right here. We got to where we want to, five special waitresses now and we'll see what we can do next time thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel and of course i hope to see you in another video thank you very much bye bye